Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Reiki with Anna. For today's video, we're going to do a very hopefully calm, soothing, and relaxing session for deep, restorative and restful sleep. I'm hoping that this video will induce gentle Supportive rest if you're not able to fall asleep then my hope is that you might be able to find bit of tranquility, bit of peace and serenity for your mind and for your body and for your energy field. So, we are going to start by lighting a candle and setting our intention. And then I'm going to use some sage to clear our aura, clear it of anything that is no longer serving us, that doesn't serve our intention that might not serve our alignment and our sleep. Okay. So we're going to light this candle here. And as we move into this session, I would just like to encourage you to find as comfortable a position as you're able. Try to wriggle around until you find your your center try to take some beautiful deep restorative breaths you deserve to take this time 
Nobody needs you right now, okay? Here we go. So I'm late to the party, but I've recently discovered Sarah Louise's uh, channel, Sarah Louise. She, I will leave her channel down below, but I'm sure most of you probably know her. But she says at the start of her videos, I just discovered her yesterday, actually, it was recommended to her. I love it when you do works. But she said, she usually says, nobody needs you right now, or something like that, no, nobody, uh, yeah, something like what I just said, so I wanted to give credit, because I thought that was such a beautiful way of saying, it's okay to take time for yourself at this moment, you're okay, nobody needs anything from you right now, maybe it was that, okay, so here's our candle, let me turn it so you can see, kind of. hand on heart. On behalf of our wisest, most empowered selves, in loving comfort and perfect balance, I wish to conduct this distance Reiki session for deep restful and restorative sleep to ease a worried mind to soothe and calm this, I'm going to draw the symbols a few feet from your heart center. gown. I thought maybe this would encourage you to put something cozy on, something kind of loose and fluid, something that feels like home, something cozy and nice and fresh, that feels nice against your skin. And then my crown, not, not exactly for the comfort, more to activate the crown, bring in that higher realm energy. So, I'm gonna do a little scan and then I'm going to light the sage here.
Okay. And we're going to light this sage. And we're going to ever so gently clear anything that is preventing you from resting. I'm going to start at your crown and move through your energy field, clearing and cleansing any thoughts, beliefs, any energy that is preventing you from finding that deep, blissful rest that we all deserve. do enough to deserve to rest. No, no, no. You existing, you being here, That means you must rest. You don't have to pay for rest. It should come as a human right. I'm so sorry if it doesn't come easy to you. I can understand and I hold space for that. But I want you to know that your worth is not connected to your productivity. I said that before. Say it again. Your worth has nothing to do with how much you've accomplished or how many things you've checked off of your to-do list. Your productivity does not determine your value. In fact, it is very productive to rest. special little mist today. It's not actually what says on the bottle, but I did find this new, uh, new to you bottle. I found this old bottle in a, a box I hadn't unpacked yet, and it was empty, but I filled it with lavender essential oil and moon water. So, it's a very, very calming and relaxing little mist that we 
have today. And I thought it would be a nice one for calming and relaxing little session. I've said this before, but I I love lit sound. This one is comes off quite easily, so okay. It has a little crystal in the bottom. It's an eventrine. So I'm gonna spray around. Just imagine this lavender spray just filling up your aura, inviting a sense of calm and rest, peace. gentle and calming I'm not getting you wet I'm just spraying in your etheric fields okay. now spray around me Just place a few stones along your chakra points and around your body. They're very gentle, very soothing stones. Going to be starting out by placing this piece of howlite, very gentle, soothing, calming, patient stone. Sometimes part of falling asleep is really about. Just having the patience and the trust to just stay and breathe. Sleep is on its way. So I'm going to place this just at your crown. It's very light very gentle. And now I have this very gentle piece of red calcite. And this stone I'm going to be placing down at your feet. I wanted to provide a little bit of balance. So trusting in the divine trusting in that divine timing, having the patience to trust, and then the grounded patience, grounded trust, trust in the mother 
Mother Earth holding us, holding the weight of your body. As my friend Mara said in the yoga ASMR video that we did together, she said, how can you ever be fully supported if you don't ever fully let go? I like that a lot. So now I'm just going to place this at your feet. So balancing out that energy, and this is a very small piece of red calcite. So it's providing a bit of balance, a bit of grounded energy to this kind of work that we're doing more in these upper chakras. <sighs> giving us the sleep and the rest that our bodies need, that our earth bodies need. But when we rest and we dream, we enter into the kind of higher chakra state. So I'm going to place this down here for some balance. Okay. Connecting those two now. Beautiful. Okay. Now that we have the connection to the universe and the connection to Mother Earth here, we have that balance, that harmony. I'm now just going to use these two little selenite sticks to very gently clear. Clear anything that we may have missed. It's no longer serving us. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any super activating crystals. I wanted to make sure that I had gentle, soothing crystals, stones and tools for us in this session. I wanted to do some clearing and also bring in the selenite for its connection to the moon. Selene, lunar energy, but I also didn't want to make it too active with the big guys, the big wands that I have. So I'm going to instead be using these little sticks. They're very gentle, they're not too activating, you know, they, they don't, you know, rev you up. So I'm going to run these through your etheric field starting at the crown. And for this, let's just take some deep restorative breaths together.
clearing and cleansing ever so gently clearing and cleansing just getting your throat here like so clearing gently purifying so that you can rest with a clear calm peaceful mind allow any worries to be cleared away by the selenite allow any stress disempowering beliefs to be cleansed away by this beautiful lunar stone and its gentle clearing energy okay I'd like to place this piece of lapis lazuli at your third eye I find this stone very very gentle it can be an activating stone but I find that if you intend it properly or to your to your wishes it can regulate that energy so I'm going to place it in the palm of my hand and set an intention for this lapis lazuli on behalf of our wisest, most empowered selves in loving comfort and perfect balance to serve as a vision guide for deep, restful, calm and peaceful sleep to protect against any energies or visions that might interfere with a deep and peaceful sleep okay Now, just placing this ever so gently right on that third eye. And it's so light and it's so smooth. It's a very, very gentle and calming lap. I'd like to call in this beautiful piece of blue lace agate which I love for deep sleep I think it's so gentle and so soothing and it has a real
kind of uh, almost not hypnotic, but it does sort of feel like it really invites a sense of Okay, I'm going to place this ever so gently at your throat, sort of like resting right there, so it's very gentle, it's very smooth, it's very comforting. Almost imagine, if you will, that there's just this it's hovering at your throat, sending this beautiful, soothing light to your throat. So if there's any tension or pressure at your throat, it's emitting this beautiful healing energy. It's coming in. Um, and ease that tension. I have this piece of angel light, and I'm just going to start at the crown and move it through here. Just moving it through your etheric field, just to invite any gentle guides, benevolent guides. Come and help us drift off to sleep if you're open to it. If not, then no guides will present themselves. They will only present themselves if you are open to receiving their benevolent guidance. I'm going to place this ever so gently at your navel, just to balance out that energy there. I have these two stones. This is garnierite, and this is not a stone. It's a little ocean critter that I've had for years. And I'm just going to take these two and run them through your aura. They both have very watery quality. You know, this one is from the ocean. So it's inviting in that the flow of the tide. The rhythm of the waves and this green moonstone is a river stone. It 
With this we call in the flow of the rivers. A clear river is a moving river. So we're inviting a gentle flow into our etheric field with these two stones. It's very gentle. There's nothing rapid Nothing. Jerky or bumpy about the movement that is coming into your field here. It's a beautiful, peaceful flow. Rhythmic, steady, consistent, and calm. Okay, I'm going to place this garnierite on your heart center. It's a beautiful stone for the heart. And this little creature, ever so gently, at your solar plexus. I'd now like to place this rose quartz and this kumbaba jasper in either one of your hands ever so gently. So I'm just going to move them through and then place them comfortably in the palms of your hands. You don't have to move, you don't have to hold them. We are just going to rest gently in the palms of your hands, like so. And now last but not least, we have this piece of coral, this washed up on the beach beside me in Indonesia. Dead, it was dead. And I thought it was a bit of a gift. So I've cherished it and I use it occasionally in my practice, but I keep it in my bedroom because I feel that it has a beautiful, calming, and also very restorative energy. Feels like it takes in any negative energy and puts out beautiful loving energy. Feels like it almost breathes. So we're going to use this beautiful coral to comb through Starting at the crown, and it's going to just ever so gently 
comes through. I love it. Imagine that it Taking in any negativity and sending out beautiful, positive, calming energy. So it's taking any negative energy and sending you restorative, beautiful, loving energy. Let's do a few deep breaths together at your own pace, in your own way. Just reach around or so gently without touching you. Just move it up your back and down your back. Up your back. Just about a foot away from your body. Up your back. And Place two more stones. Some people say that they find amethysts to be a bit activating, and some people don't, so it's really whatever whatever you feel. I'm gonna be placing these down on either side of your hips. This is a beautiful piece of Labradorite. I love lab. And say an amethyst point. So I'm going to just move them through here. We're just inviting more energy from the dream space into your entire body. So you could place a Labradorite on your third eye. You could place the amethyst on your crown. But for this, I want to invite that energy down so that you're sort of swimming in this beautiful, fluid, ethereal energy. Labradorite is a wonderful stone I find for dreams, and so is amethyst. But this is gentle, and this isn't for dream recall, this is for restoration. Okay. So placing these on either side of your hips. And I'm just placing my hands on either side of your hips outside of these stones just sending this energy in and around healing soothing light just twinkling and 
and glimmering its way up through your chakras and then down to your feet. I would now like to take this lavender and ever so gently run it through your etheric field and for this sort of warm gentle almost peppery kind of lavender. It's very warm and gentle, but almost kind of spicy. So, in a very calming way, that didn't sound activating or stimulating. So I'm going to just run it through your mental plane here, just to invite even more calm, visualizing calm, beautiful meadow. like a pillow where you could rest your head. Only beautiful thoughts live there. either side of your hips, down by your feet, up through your midline, and up into your crown. to very gently fluff your aura so that you can have a pillowy cushion. 
cushion of supportive energy. Helping you drift safely and comfortably off to sleep. Okay. You look very comfortable and very peaceful. Now, I'm going to just allow for you to hang around as long as you'd like. You can just stay for the ambiance while you drift off and that'll be a-okay. I'm sending you so much comforting love and support. Thank you so much for all of your incredible support. It means the world to me. Alright, until next time.